you might want to stockpile this while you still can. Hey everybody, this is Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. And we haven't done this in a while. A car video, a talk. Huh, because yeah, I don't commute anymore. So anyway, what am I talking about? Well, what have we seen shortages of? What have we seen an agenda against? And a push to go away from this. Meat. Yep, meat. The push for a meatless society. I'm sure you guys have heard that, even if you live in areas that it's not that prevalent. Um, there is a big push. Not only is it a push for a meatless society, you've seen that like Beyond Meat and all these vegan and vegetarian options and stuff like that. And if that's the way you choose to go in your life, sure, go for it. Free will and all, right? But don't force it on the rest of us. If you want to eat meat, eat meat. But you might want to think about adding more to your preps now and over the foreseeable future. I'm not saying we're going to run out of meat anytime soon. I'm sure this would take a long time to happen. But this is another reason why those self words are really good. Self-sufficiency, self-reliance, self-sustainability, raising your own animals. If you raise your own animals, well, it's going to be kind of hard to uh, turn, you know, turn you meatless, right? But yes, we've seen shortages because of crop failures and farmers encouraged to, paid to, whatever, destroy feed crops so that those feed crops are not around to feed the animals. Thus, farmers have to dispose of the animals. Thus, we're closer to meatless society. And even if that doesn't happen, I mean, like I said, that's going to take a long time. We've seen what can, it can be affected. The meat supply can be affected. And that's an important, for me at least, it's an important protein and an important part of my diet is meat. So, like I said, grow, raise your own, raise your own meat as well as growing your own fruits and vegetables. But you might want to add it to your preps. What's the best way to add meat to your preps? Well, one of the best ways is canned meats. You, get, you can get canned roast beef, canned chicken, um, canned tuna, canned salmon, canned pork, lots of different things. You get a lot of different things. Corned beef hash. There's a lot of different ways, obviously, to buy canned meats. There's also jerkies, dried meats. That shelf life, okay. Not the best. I'm not saying that's going to be a you know, 25, 30 year shelf life. Um, but that's one way to do it. There's also pickled meats. There's also salted meats. Salted meats don't last years, though. Um, it's just a way, an old school way of preservation. Um, what, maybe six months or a year? I, f I forget exactly. Um, and then there's also freeze dried. Get freeze dried meats. That's a good option. I mentioned it in a video not that long ago. If you're looking for freeze dried meats, though, in those cans like Morgan Farms or Wise Company or uh, Mountain House or whatever the brand is you're getting, uh, make sure you read the ingredients and make sure you're not getting TVP, which is textured vegetable protein. It is soy that they make to look like ground beef, ground chicken, uh, whatever, stuff like that. So if you want that, fine, then get it. But if you want real meat, make sure that it is not textured vegetable protein. You can get it, yes, it's more expensive, of course, but those are some good ways to add meats to your food storage. I personally think that's good. That's good to do because food storage is our emergency fund, right? But what is another way to have meat on hand? Like I said, raise your own. Funny thing is, animals reproduce. <laughs> Go figure. So you can keep your herd, your flock, 
whatever it is going. Learn how to do this now. Start doing this now. Honestly, that's one of my weak spots. I don't do it currently. I have in the past. I know how to do it, certain animals. We will be ramping that up soon, very shortly, and getting into um, raising animals. Start off with probably turkeys and, and uh, ducks right off the bat, maybe some goats. Not really sure where we'll go. We'll see. Um, but a lot of people um, that do eat animals like rabbit, rabbits reproduce very quickly. Uh, but make sure that you have a good source of fat to go along with that because rabbits are not a good source of fat. There's not much fat. You can starve to death eating rabbit. Honestly, you can because your body's not getting any fat. Um, and like I said, everybody has different dietary constraints. Some people eat Torah. Some people eat um, vegan, vegetarian, uh, pescatarian, uh, meatitarian, <laughs> paleo, uh, whatever it is. Just make sure you're buying what you eat. Obviously, don't buy stuff you're not going to eat. Uh, if somebody gives you some stuff, or you win some stuff from a giveaway or something like that that isn't necessarily a food you eat, you may want to keep it on hand also to throw in your preps. Um, don't get rid of it. Uh, or if, unless you can give it to somebody else uh, for their preps, one of your group members, your MAG members, uh, in trade for something that you eat, you can do that also. But yeah, also build the barter networks. <clears throat> trade with your neighbors um, for stuff. Maybe you grow, maybe they raise. Maybe that's a good setup. You give them fruits and vegetables, they give you meat. It's just something to think about. It's thinking I've been thinking about lately. Um, and storing meat is a really, I mean, it's a, it's a vital part of your preps anyway. But with things we've seen in the past um, and the current push towards this whole, um, you know, fake meat and or lab grown meat or whatever it is, I don't know. I, I'm not gonna eat that crap. But I mean, if you choose to, it's, I'm not knocking you, whatever eat what you want you know I answer for what I do you answer for what you do you have to live with yourself I live with myself I don't care um, it doesn't matter it's not right or wrong it's just what it is uh, anyway yeah if you guys like the videos please subscribe hit the like button comment below share the videos do all those things like I said I haven't done a car talk in a while uh, I had the opportunity to do it now so here we are I hope you guys like the video I think it's an important topic and it's something to, that we definitely need to be adding to our preps and making sure that we have lots of. So with that, keep on prepping on and have a wonderful day. Blessings to you and yours.